everlasting love. One fine day, an old couple around the age of 70, walks into a lawyer's office. Apparently, they are there to file a divorce. Lawyer was very puzzled. After having a chat with them, he got their story. This couple had been quarreling all their 40 over YRS of marriage nothing ever seems to go right. They hang on because of their children, afraid that it might affect their upbringing. Now, all their children have already grown up, have their own family. There's nothing else the old couple have to worry about. All they wanted is to leave their own life free from all these years of unhappiness from their marriage, so both agree on a divorce. Lawyer was having a hard time trying to get the papers done, because he felt that after 40 years of marriage at the age of 70, he couldn't understand why the old couple would still want a divorce. While they were signing the papers, the wife told the husband, I really love you, but I really can't carry on anymore, I'm sorry. It's okay, I understand, said the husband. Looking at this, the lawyer suggested a dinner together, just three of them, wife thought, why not, since they are still gonna be friends. At the dining table, there was a silence of awkwardness. The first dish was roasted chicken, immediately. The old man took the drumstick for the old lady. Take this, it's your favorite. Looking at this, the lawyer thought maybe there's still a chance, but the wife was frowning when she answered. This is always the problem. You always think so highly of yourself. Never thought about how I feel. Don't you know that I hate drumsticks? Little did she know that, over the years, the husband have been trying all ways to please her. Little did she know that drumsticks was the husband's favorite. Little did he know that she never thought he understand her at all. Little did he know that she hates drumsticks even though all he wants is the best for her. This is always the problem. You always think so highly of yourself. Never thought about how I feel. Don't you know that I hate drumsticks? Even though all he wants is the best for her. On the other side, she was sad. She couldn't understand how come after all these years, he still doesn't understand her at all. She loves him a lot, but she just can't take it anymore. Phone's ringing. She refuses to answer knowing that it's him. What's the point of talking now that it's over? I have asked for it and now I want to keep it this way. If not I will lose face. She thought. Still ringing. Dot she have decided to pull out the cord. Little did she remember, he have heart problems. The next day, she received news that he had passed away. Dot she rushed down to his apartment, saw his body. Lying on the couch still holding on to the phone. He had a heart attack when he was still trying to get through her phone line. As sad as she could be. Dot she will have to clear his belongings. When she was looking through the drawers, she saw this insurance policy, dated from the day. They got married, with the beneficiary being her. And together in those file, there was this note. To my dearest wife, by the time you're reading this, I'm sure I'm no longer around. I bought this policy for you, though the amount is only $100,000. I hope it will be able to help me continue my promise that I have made when we got married. I might not be around anymore. I want this amount of money to continue taking care of you, just like the way I will if I could have lived longer. I want you to know I will always be around, by your side. I love you. Tears flowed like river. When you love someone, let them know. You never know what will happen the next minute. Learn to build a life together. Learn to love each other. For who they are. Not what they are.